Hey folks, Liara here. Today we're reacting to five anti-vaxxers versus two fakes. Odd one out by Jubilee. I'm recording this two hours before the video release because this is like gold mine content. I I can't wait. <laughs> Let's go. I'm anti-vaccine. 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 Anti wait, wait, I didn't. I need to watch them all say it. I need to analyze. Anti-vaccine. 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 I couldn't detect anything yet. <laughs> what, what is this content idea? Okay, the music got a little loud, but... I am not oh. vaccinated and I haven't been vaccinated. And I have two kids, they haven't been vaccinated either. And that's all vaccines. Uh, the whole uh, COVID pandemic kind of woke me up. It feels like discrimination when I tell people I'm anti-vax. They're just going in it. Vaccinated. I am pro-life as well. Um, and a lot of the ingredients they put in it um, are fetal cells. They've done testing of fetal cells for me personally as a Christian. I think she might be fake. She came out really bold and started saying a whole bunch of facts. So that was kind of a red flag for me. Yeah, Pharmacist. right? <laughs> See, I know the anti-vaxxer mindset. They put in with the COVID vaccination. I just felt really uncomfortable. It's just made me open my eyes. How many things are in vaccines and how much we don't discuss them in the medical community? My anti is toward COVID vaccines. Actually, truth be told, the rapid test we just took was the first COVID test I've ever taken. <laughs> I refused to take a COVID test. The vaccine was pushed. That guy's a super so spreader. <laughs> they could rig the election, and that's personally my belief. So you believe the election was rigged? I believe it was, yes. <laughs> cool. Growing. <laughs> this is just pure content. Oh my God. This is getting injected into my veins. Okay, okay. Up, I got most of my vaccines. However, I especially did not want to get the COVID vaccine. The media censorship was the biggest start to me, kind of like he said, waking up to this. We know ourselves better than going into a doctor who only sees us for a few minutes at a time. You said you were a pharmacist? Yeah. Uh, did you leave your work? You kind of implied that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, with the increase of the vaccine mandate and having it required for the rest of the chain. Um, so I actually have a family member that does work from home from an independent mail order pharmacy. And she got I believe her. And since then, things have been pretty chill. So you left She's a legit and, like asked to leave? Yeah. So I used to actually, I started as a teacher in elementary school and they actually asked me to leave because it was mandated that you had to be vaccinated to be in like a group of kids. So that was really frustrating for me because working with kids is a big passion of mine. And the fact that I was fired from my career just because of a personal choice is like really upsetting to me. Yeah. So that's why I'm very passionate about this issue now. I was actually asked to leave nursing school. I started. They asked me to leave the school because I was gonna kill the kids. How dare they? I get it, I get it. COVID doesn't like kill most kids but a very, very, extremely small percentage. And still, I feel like you can see the reasoning. Started for a month and then... You have to be vaccinated in general to work out of school, right? Like you need the hepatitis, like B vax or whatever, like smallpox, that's like kid, like, I, I don't know. They accepted my religious exemption and then a month into it said, never mind. so. Yeah, I looked out because I, I go to college in uh, Oregon. And uh, at first they were like, no, you can't come in here without a vaccine and everything. But I was able to get the philosophical exemption. And then they wanted to test me weekly. And I was like, no, like, like I'm not doing that. That's the alternative. Then, uh, after kind of going back and forth, they were like, okay, like, you're fine. Oh, oh, um, oh. It's <laughs> Maddie's the first one I would vote. Because or Ryan. in the waiting room, we were joking that his name was Brian and not Ryan. And then I... That's okay. Okay. He's a queen. He was able to get a philosophical exemption, which I had never heard of. I mean, I've heard of that, but it does sound kind of like he could There's be. There's no way you could be away with not having a COVID test. Most people have gone through at least one by now. We've been like two. Yeah, years. he he made he seemed like too into it. I could not believe that I got voted out first round. <laughs> if anybody is the mole, it's not me. That's for sure. How has a uh, not being vaccinated too... affected like, your guys' personal relationships, like friends and family? I had to miss like a, a wedding type. that I was really excited for for one of my friends back in Indiana. She ultimately decided to ask everyone to be vaccinated because her grandparents were there, which I completely understood. But it was really heartbreaking hey, thank to not you. be a part of that special day with her. I don't. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I understand why that would suck for her, but I, I do at least respect that she understands why. Because, like, the school teacher was like, what? Sorry, this is so shocking to me. I can't. Yeah. 
one side of my family refused to see me, so that was kind of disheartening. And I feel like people tie certain political views to my personal idea not to get vaccinated. I'm not a right and a right wing extremist, which I feel like a lot of people are associating me with. I am not just someone who is not vaccinated. I actually have natural immunity. I have contacted the virus before, and um, multiple studies have shown that natural immunity actually <laughs> you. lasts longer as far as resilience to um, contacting COVID. She's not accurate. Th th that is the little thingy next to me. That Oh, shoot, you can't even see it. But like the protection against reinfection by Omicron afforded by past infection may be as low as 19%. And it runs out. Like, <laughs> there's a reason why, like, boosters exist. Again, the right to our own body is um, the opposite of tyranny that would normally be associated with that. Yeah, yeah I'm very liberal. Oh, and that was the Imperial College of London, by the way. Just... Leaning, so Heck yeah. My... <laughs> oh my god. Okay, wait, it said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it said the best thing ever. Driver licenses are for the week. My ideas aren't like I line up with a Republican or Democrat. For me, it's yes. just we should have the ability to you know decide what we want to do. Yeah, so. and I just think it's scary too when the government starts to say like they're doing this for your own health and their safety. And yeah. it's just funny like how all of a sudden the government started caring about your health. Wouldn't they have banned like smoking cigarettes yeah, like exactly. years ago? Yeah. Like it, it like, just seemed like a lot of censorship too, like to not be able to like find any other information about like side effects. I have a few friends who had like some bad side effects, but you can't, once you post that out there, it's censored. censored. Even yeah. the VAERS report, there's thousands of reports yes. of people with like yes. vaccine side effects and people pretend like that's mm. not a reality. And I think it's interesting how they care about our health and everything, there's but they say about nutrition, sunlight, yes. uh, w working out, going to the gym, getting outside and being around people that love you and stuff like that, like that's good for your health. It's not inside though. Instead they lock us in, in a room, <laughs> Uh, with like artificial lighting and paint and, and don't get sunlight and don't get to talk to people. Yeah, and then they put a mask on us, which is not healthy at all. Nico was throwing out a lot of buzzwords. Uh, yeah, I don't kept know what he's saying at this point. And I think he said jab. Very much so it looked like he was making a character and he was really trying to hit all the, the buttons. I was teaching first grade and a lot of those That's kids- That's how they have to go the for it. Lockdowns, they had never had any social experience for the past two years. And to act like that isn't detrimental to their social health, to their mental health, it very Where frustrates me. What? San Bernardino County. Okay. I was saying, like I personally don't- He's right. Like there are effects of the, of masking and having in like the side effects of having to deal with a pandemic. So like we should deal with those instead of not dealing with the pandemic because of those. Right? Like I think that's fair. I don't think that it's really anybody's business if yeah. I've been vaccinated or not. And I don't think that I should not huh. be able to go certain places, eat certain places, or even enroll my kids in school because they haven't been vaccinated. It's just not, it's not fair. And it's- I don't know, I think it's their choice. <laughs> if the restaurant doesn't want you to have you because you're not vaccinated, because they don't want to deal with non-vaccinated guests, I think that's fine. It's like really nobody's business. It's my, my health. You, know, you said none of your, your kids don't have any vaccines, no, right? How I have, did that affect never them, had, like, going and getting into school? Uh, well, they're three and two oh, months, okay. so okay. she's they're not old enough yet. But, um, yeah, you, I haven't been vaccinated either, and it, it hasn't affected me you, in you any need, way. Um, when you, I, you need, like, a standard vaccines for a lot of things. I get sick. I get sick for, like, one or two days, and then I'm done. Yeah. I'm back healthy, and I only get sick maybe, like, two times a year. You said that you moved down to California? Yeah, yesterday. Well, I'm trying to get out. Yesterday. <laughs> I'm trying no, to get out. Yeah, no, so me why too, do you yeah. move to California if it's so hard to go? For sure, projects? yeah. So I uh, lived in Texas for like 10 years. Uh, then I moved to Oregon for school. He's getting voted out. And then uh, I got a job offer um, as an internship here in California. Mm -hmm. And honestly, like, yeah, all the sure. mandates and everything I don't like. But I mean, it's California. It's kind of like that kind of the dream to come and live here so i'm trying to switch with you i want to go to texas man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah for sure like yeah i'll, I'll take your old spot i'll take sure. your own spot yeah he went to university in oregon and somehow wasn't required to get vaccinated there why would oh, she's smart from a more conservative area to a liberal area if they were anti-vax i mean except the whole anti-vax <laughs> Bungalow after. <laughs> if you think the mole is still in the box and you'd like to continue playing the game,
Please raise your hand. I seriously, I have no idea who the moles are. That was so loud. I voted for, oh, you're talking about the actual election? Yes. Oh. Mixing up is not fantastic. Again, like I'm libertarian, that isn't really my, I'm not a Republican, but. I'm not a Republican. I just happen to vote with a Republican in every election I've been eligible to vote for. He definitely was a better choice over what we have now. Yeah, I'm libertarian as well, and I, I actually believe that neither of the, the candidates Eagle were good, and I did not feel comfortable supporting either of them, so I did not vote. Right. I didn't vote either. I haven't voted in like two years. I haven't voted either. I felt really uncomfortable with just how nasty everything was getting. Everything kept getting more increasingly cloudy. I felt like as the election came closer and closer. So I just didn't feel like I had enough information regarding either of them to confidently cast a ballot. I get that. I mean, they're both really divisive, but like, you know, the effects matter. And like seeing especially what's going on now, I mean, we might not like either of the candidates, one of them getting in, and we gotta do our best, you know, to get the, the least of two evils. I think that is important. I mean, I personally voted for Trump. Um, I actually worked King on only uh, his Trump. campaign because I actually do. Um, I don't like everything he says, but That's I funny. like his policies. Um, and I believe that he allows people to live their lives and doesn't try to get involved with all of your business. Wait, so you said you worked on his campaign. Did you, you guys didn't have to get vaccinated for that or? So that was a 2016 was campaign. 2016, mm -hmm. okay. I don't think he would have required it for the 2021, but I. Uh, yeah, I not in the time frame that the election was. For the 2020. Asabi, I wanted to ask you more about your stance because we mentioned earlier that in general you don't feel like it's anyone's business. We kind of touched on autonomy. I wanted to hear more about why you specifically decide not to vaccinate yourself and your children. So I grew up very like uh, religious, I guess you could say, and my belief like vaccines are like a no go. Like we don't believe that um, she could be an intake. We she could be put, like poison in our bodies and like we think that we should just handle everything in a holistic way so she was like religion religious reason is she thinking about this on the spot and first corinthians 2 5 says you know our faith shouldn't be trusted he just seems like a man. maybe a little oh, nervous more than exactly. and so for me it's like that doesn't mean that like man has ultimate wisdom but like what they try to push of like this is what you need to do like, what if it's mason those red flags for me he used a bible verse for me that was like okay he believes in kind of like the same thing i believe in biblically speaking for me it's like you back when you know in pharaohs in those days they were killing babies and then with the vaccine it's like i, I just don't trust it because yeah. you're trying to mandate something that could possibly harm or kill someone. And As a like pharmacist, I know how much Big Pharma puts money in this constantly. The left for so long has been, oh, we're against Big Pharma. And then all of a sudden that. they jump in and it's like, that. everyone needs to listen to what Pfizer says. Everyone needs to listen to what Moderna and Jason says. She said that she was very much into the pharmaceutical industry. She kind of said she wasn't very political and I feel like at this point, it is kind of a political statement if you are not vaccinated. Not really, no. There's a lot of... Anti-vaxxers are across the aisle still. Like, definitely there's more on the Republican side now than there used to be. But, like, it, there's still, like... <laughs> I, I know a left-wing anti-vaxxer. <laughs> if you feel like the mole is still in the box and you'd like to continue playing the game, please raise your hand. You need God, a majority vote, water. and since it's just the two of you, instead we're going to ask, can you share your suspicions? Let's air it out and let's have a conversation. Oh my God, this is sick. Go. That's number one. <laughs> yeah. Just because I think he was throwing out buzzwords, like he developed the character. And he also talked about how he didn't have to get the vaccine at first in Oregon. Go to college in uh, Oregon. I was pretty confident it was Nico. I don't know who the other person would be. I don't suspect anyone else. I think it was Ryan too, honestly, because yeah. Ryan, when he first said, this is the first COVID test I've ever taken. I trust you. I do trust you, but you do seem very much like you've researched a lot. Neither of you guys voted also in the election, you said, correct? Right. I do find right. that kind of interesting just because I feel like it is so polarized. I'm yeah. totally with you on that mentality, but 
like just being around a lot of libertarian circles, there are a lot of people, and you guys both kind of said you're libertarian, right? Yeah. I really, I honestly don't really have a strong political view, honestly. You might give up Where we are now. now in the world, it's, it almost is a statement to not be vaccinated. Now it's not just like, oh, I wasn't provided enough information. I wasn't, you can go to CVS and get it for free. So you are kind of making I'm a stressed. political statement, whether you like it or not, if you aren't vaccinated. Um, I assume most of us don't agree with the mainstream media or like watch a lot of that because obviously there's a narrative that's pushed there. So I was going to ask, what type of media outlets do you guys I uh -oh. follow um, The Daily Wire, Matt Walsh, Ben Shapiro, Wet Candace keyboard. Owens. Um, those are probably like the people I've The um, Daily Wire I've had a, a little bit of trouble with because Ben Shapiro has really like promoted vaccines. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, like, I, I, do like I Candace, disagree with that part. I like yeah. Candace Owens, but yeah, I don't know. I've kind of gone on and off with Ben Shapiro. But I like Steven Crowder. Uh, <laughs> I like Dr. Robert Malone, Hank Pecker. There's a lot of different streamers and uh, media outlets that I think do push a more like you should be able to choose what you want for your own body. And they're definitely um, anti-vaxxers. We work in the medical field, um, and that is an area where you do have to typically be vaccinated. I think being anti-vax is a big political statement, so that looked a little off to me. It's not her. I was pretty bummed. I thought I had spoken pretty well about my beliefs, so I was surprised. I think, she, okay, maybe, honestly, that, that made me think it might have been her. I think it was Ryan and Miko. It was like the easiest bets, though. Green, that means you have voted the mole out. And you win. I'm so stressed. <sighs> was it? It's Was it me. Mason? It's you. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to you. I think it's Matt. So on the count of three, I'm going to ask the two moles to step <laughs> Wait, out. Wait, they're hiding the it until the... One, two, three. Oh, shit. I was crazy. I should have known it was Mason. Going into it, Wait. I was like, okay, he and I are in a, a like, we have an alliance. Like, like, okay, until the end, like, they only started getting a little sussy mm -hmm. towards the end. Mason, like, he, the things that he was saying about other people where he, like, they seemed like a character they knew too much, like, that was actually him. Oh my god. That was sick. I am shook. Like, and I think Katie's character was good. Like, I know anti-vax pharmacists who talk just like her. Like, she was really good. We're good. He definitely sold me, so, like, well done, my friend. I'm very politically engaged, so I've had a lot of conversations with people. The lesser of two evils thing, but then he said it, he voted for Trump. Felt like such a thing that you would say if you're politically engaged and trying to pretend like you're, like, an anti-vaxxer. Maybe he still voted for Trump, though. Well, just about. Whether I'm yelling. Get vaccines, whether or not there should be government mandates, that type of thing. I've heard a lot of opinions on both sides. My goal here was to kind of just be really subtle about it and to kind of just sow doubt in the vaccine, not really take a hard stance to like pandemic or like microchips, you know, that extreme oh. wing. Because I don't think anyone really here is on that, you know, spectrum. Honestly, I said that because I was trying to get some points because I thought like if I say pandemic. I'm good to go. Yeah, um, I'm a pharmacist. I actually was a part I of this the so wrong. initial movement to vaccinate. I went to nursing homes, put vaccine in arms. Um, a big part of my experience with that- <laughs> Surprised you didn't get attacked. <laughs> is just seeing how much of a toll COVID has taken on my fellow healthcare workers. I have people that work in the ED and see how tragic that is. One of my closest friends actually lost her father to COVID. There's a lot of data in medicine that I question all the time. As a person of color and as a woman, I know how much the data is against people like me being treated. But the vaccine is something that I've seen time and time again that I don't typically question. The data just stands for me, so I stand with it. I, I really do understand why a lot of people are concerned with how far can government reach. Her fit was too good to be an anti-vaxxer, to be fair. I should have realized it from the start. And what does that mean for the common people? Where do we draw the line? I think that is in genuinely a super important conversation to have. Most people who are skeptical of the vaccine are either consuming that from certain media outlets or just people that are around them really pushing that idea. If we as people who think vaccines are important don't actually interact with them, they're just kind of stuck in that bubble. And that's not 
helpful for anybody. This. High fives around, high fives around. This is so neat. It ended in such a different way than I thought. Yeah, I love this. I'm always ready. <laughs> okay, that was so different than I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting, but like, that was one of the best odd one outs I've ever seen. I'm pretty sure. Um, we were, wait, we were there for 20th, like, yeah, kind of a big deal. Whoever added to Libertarians United that it needs to get a raise. True. It's such a tough pill to swallow and realize that some people are indeed plain and simply just not smart. I think, like, in a in a less rude way, I do, like, think back to, like, like I had high school friends I lost contact with who probably are anti-vaxxers now and, like, remi like, remind me of, like, Nico and shit. Um, and, yeah, it's just, it's really unfortunate. I don't know. Like, there are cool people who are, like, just normal people who are anti-vaxxers. And, like, I feel like, like, I don't want people to die and like getting vaccinated definitely helps or at least helps you not get like sick <laughs> and then like have long-term effects and shit or even just like feel like you're not good for a little bit i've had i'm i mean i actually don't know if i've if i've had covid i've i've isolated for the period of time but i never got an antigen test to actually see if i had um Wait, wait, I'm trolling. Yeah, sorry, I've had a few COVID tests. Yeah, I know, I actually did have COVID, unironically. <laughs> sorry, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, I took one of the at-home tests and I had COVID. And yeah, like, I'm boosted and shit. It was very chill. Um, well played, Mason. He even had me convinced he was anti facts So the news, like, when he listed the news outlets, and I still, I wasn't able to tell if, like, if he just, like, actually follows those folks. Or not? He might. Um. Like I think, yeah, I don't know, but like, even if he is like a vaccine supporting, like, cons I guess libertarian who like watches all his folks, like he just had a really good bit. He played the role really well. And this topic is too angering for me as a scientist, so I'm not sure I can watch and get through. Okay, haha, ha, ha. <laughs> commenting to support the channel. Yeah, I was not sure I could get through this video. Um, yeah. It was pretty obvious Katie wasn't because she was a pharmacist. Oh, my, I know anti-vax pharmacists. Sorry. Actually, wait. I think he used to be a pharmacist, so then he, like, now he's, like, a little higher up at the company. I could be wrong, though. Production for this episode is amazing, too. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I don't think there's any good, any more comments to read. I'm a little early on this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye, folks. Hey folks, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like the video, subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, and have a great rest of your day. Bye!